Welcome. So hopefully if you are watching this right now, you own a local business, whether that's a plumbing company, electrician, plastic surgeon, lawyer, doesn't matter. You own a local business and you want to rank higher on Google. And so I'm going to give you my three tips that you can implement today, leveraging AI to do better SEO. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to all these courses for free on how I do SEO for my local clients. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into my computer so I can show you step by step what these three tips are and so that at the end you can actually implement them and also watch the free training that I just mentioned a couple of seconds ago to improve your local SEO. So let's break it down. Okay, we are here and as you can see, I've hidden each tip behind this little yellow bars because I want you to watch till the end. And if you do, I'll give you access to all of these courses that break down local SEO and different sides of things, different aspects of things, different tips, tricks, things you should be doing in terms of your local SEO strategy. I'll give you access to all this for free at the end of this video. So stick around because that's super valuable in my opinion. So let's go, let's get it started. Let's go over the very first tip again, which is leveraging AI for local SEO, which is the ability to generate location pages. So if you're local, I know this is boring, but I mean, the boring stuff is what's gonna make you money, right? If you're a local business, right? Let's say, let's give you a couple of examples because I wanna appeal to as much people as I can. Plumber, dentist, or for example, plastic surgeon, lawyer, okay? There are infinite types of local businesses, right? Ones in more expensive niches, ones in less expensive niches, whatever, right? Ones where the uh, business owner goes out to the client, as a plumber does, they go out to the client. Where, for example, a dentist, well, people come into the clinic, as well as a plastic surgeon, as well as a lawyer, right? But the electrician people, the electrician, excuse me, they go out to the actual client. So it depends, right? And this little nuance here, like implies if you are gonna be creating location pages or not. Because for example, if you're a plastic surgeon, it doesn't really make sense to create location pages in locations where you don't have clinics built out, right? As for example, if you're a plumber or a dentist, well, it makes sense to build out different location pages in different locations you serve out to the client, okay? Now again, if you're a lawyer or a plastic surgeon or a dentist with multiple locations all across the, um, a county, a state, a country, that makes sense. So that's why I want to show you how to do this with AI. Okay, so what we do in the AI we're going to be using is journalist AI. Now, you can use ChatGPT for this. You can use anything you want. The reason why I'm using this is because, full disclosure, this is my own AI. I own it, so I'm 100% biased. But don't don't use this one. Just see how I use it and then see how you could use this maybe in ChatGPT or any other AI you want to use. Just make sure to use AI. Because if you don't use AI, and like I said before, you're going to get left behind, right? And so I'll go here to page builder. I'll leave a link down below for this. Hit create page. Now let's say, again, my business, let's say we're a plumber. Plumber and let's do location page Dallas, okay? Let's say, for example, we wanna build out these location pages for our plumbing business. Again, we serve people all around, uh, all throughout Texas, excuse me, right? So our area is Texas and then we serve Dallas, we serve multiple of these locations. And I'm just going with with cities. You can go with with cities, you can even go with postal codes. You can like you can funnel it down, right? You can funnel this down a lot more. And the more you funnel it down, well, the more specific it is, the less uh, competitive the keyword is, the more target traffic target targeted traffic, excuse me, you're going to get. So there's benefits to this. But again, I'll talk about all this stuff in the other courses I said I'll give you at the end. So, uh, let's go over here again. Let's just target our location uh, our city Dallas, right? And now we have our prompt. Right now, here's what you want to do here. You want to describe what you'd like your page copy to look like. You want to be specific in the tone, the structure, and the key points you'd like to include. And then, of course, like the language. Okay, so here's what we'll do. My company is called Dallas actually, Plumber. Just do Kual Skis Plumbing Plumbers. Okay. We're based in Dallas. Again, the more context you give to the AI, the, the better your input, the better the output is with AI. You cannot expect to give it a, a subpar input and then have and then have, excuse me, a great output. No. They're they're tied up. They're tied in. If the input is good, the output is good. If the input is great, the output is great. If it's bad, it's gonna be awful, the output. Okay. So my company is called Quality Plumbers. We're based in Dallas. This page should be a location page letting our customers know 
we provide services in Dallas, right? Again, we're prompting the AI to build the page out for us. So we need to know and we need to give it context as, as to what the page is gonna be. This is not a contacts page. This is not a services page. This is a location page, okay? And then again, you should be adding more stuff right here, but uh, don't worry because you can edit this, edit this later. And then just hit create. Now, what this will do again is it will take my prompt and give me a tailored copy for my page. Now I can go back here to the configuration and change my prompt if I like. Now here in the copy, right, we're gonna be choosing our section. So let me just do this to, for example, uh, let's just do this here to error section. And let's just do, for example, a CTA and then a content and then two columns and then maybe feature grids for my services, then for reviews and FAQ. And let's just do testimonials as well. And uh, CTA and uh, showing our team, right? What our processes and yeah, I guess that's basically it. So you can, you can pull in sections. And you see, right, they're starting to be populated with content based on our initial prompt, right? Our business name, where we provide services in, uh, the type of services we provide, like 24 hour services, affordable prices, anything else you feel like it's important to include. For example, if you're a dentist, you'd say we do teeth, whitening, right? We do um, cavity, whatever, service three, service four. If you're a lawyer, like all your services you provide, right? Again, you give it as much context as possible, right? And as you see here, uh, I was just changing the prompt, so that's why this uh, this changed back up. So let me just hit and put this all stuff, all this stuff here again. Uh, let me just do this, and do this, 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 I guess, yeah, okay. I guess I didn't save it, but you get the point, right? Uh, okay, so again, I just put them here in randomly, these sections, but as you can see here, this allows you to both build out your sections, right? Because they're predefined, and it gets you copy for those sections based on your prompt. As you see here, our business name, right? The location, right? 24 hour services, affordable, right? It goes over every single thing we do. For example, the feature grid, right? If we had explained properly what our features were, which we did, one at least, which was a 24 hour emergency services, it put it here. So if you add in the feature grid and mention in the prompt the services or features you provide, right, it will add them here, okay? In this case, it, it pre-populated some because I didn't mention ones, so it didn't have enough info to, to put it there, so just put these random ones, right? That being said, they do still make sense, right? Feature rows, uh, FAQs, right, you can again, you can prompt it to add info here. So if in the prompt you say, hey, listen, a couple of our FAQs are people ask uh, X, Y, Z, whatever. It would add them here, okay? Again, this is just a way to do and create your location pages, excuse me, create your location pages so much faster, right? Then you just hit save changes. Let's say we, we're happy with this. Oh, by the way, I can, uh, if I don't like this, I can just sit here and I, it will regenerate the copy, not in a random way. It will generate the copy based on this, right? If I click, for example, I don't know, here, it will regenerate the copy not just based on this, but based on the whole thing. So all this is connected, right? It knows that when you're, when, you're, when you're not happy with this copy, it will regenerate it based on everything that's written before. So again, the point of this is you get, to get you to generate copy way, way faster and pre-post the sections however you want, okay? And then you can just copy this and put it to your site, okay? That's pretty straightforward. Now, if you want a bit more help on this, check the documentation and check the, the, the video tutorial because it breaks this, this down a bit more. So that's, I guess, the, the very first step which will be to leverage AI to generate location pages, both the copy, right, as well as the structure. So then you can just copy this to your WordPress site, Webflow site, or whatever CMS you use, right? Way easier. And I don't think you can do this with ChatGPT, at least not as, of, not as of yet, excuse me. I mean, if you can, it isn't this streamlined. That's why I use uh, this as well. Now, the second tip is, similar to the first one, is to generate services pages. So in the same way I just used the AI to generate location-based pages, well, you can do the same thing for service-based pages. So for example, for a plastic surgeon, you want to have a bunch of pages on your site for your services. For example, you offer rhinoplasty, you offer a breast augmentation, you offer breast reductions, right? You offer uh, mommy makeovers. And by the way, I know all this because I make, make Damn it. make overs because I, I used to do um, local SEO for a, for a plastic surgeon and this is exactly what we did right we did all these location based pages they were properly filled out with copy and again why would you not use AI when you can just use it for this it's just so much faster so I can go here and test it out again so if we go, to, if we go here to page builders again uh, new page let's just do uh, plastic surgery 
clinic. Uh, this is a service page for my... You get the point. And in, in a couple of weeks from now, you'll be able to upload um, info as a knowledge base form to the page builder. So for example, let's say you have your Kowalski um, uh, site, the, the, the clinic, right? And you have your, your website, right? Blah, 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 blah. You have your YouTube, you have your LinkedIn, you have a bunch of text documents and audio documents. You'll be able to upload all this info into a knowledge base to then build, build out these page builders. So it knows, okay, when you tell, when you tell hey, listen, create a, create a service page. It knows that when it's creating its service page, it already knows your brand name by default, it already knows who's, who works there, the team. So it goes out and pulls in info from your brand via the knowledge base, via the stuff you upload to the knowledge base. So, it, so it's able to produce brand tailored pages. Right? As of now, you have to put it in the prompt, but in the future, in a couple weeks from, a couple weeks from now, excuse me, you'll be able to just upload it to the knowledge base. And so again, it's able to create the brand tailored pages. Now, the third one, and this is actually one of my favorites because of the endless possibilities this gives you and the ability to interact with your audience. And these are lead magnets. And here's like stick around because it's going to make a lot of sense. What this is, is a way in which you can embed custom lead magnets that actually provide value to your users and provide them with a unique experience. Enough buzzwords, let me show you how it works and for a tangible example. Let's take again the same example of plumbers. If I go here and I go to lead magnets, Again, I, you can use ChatGPT for this, I think. Um, go create, create new magnet. Let's call this plumbing service calculator, right? Now, let me just zoom in right here. Now, what we'll do here in the prompt, again, this is all gonna make sense. We're building like a tool, which will embed in our blog post, in our homepage, in our contacts page, in our service page, whatever you see fit. And so give the user a quote on the plumbing service he's asking for. You're a plumber in NYC named Kowalski's Plumbing and you need to give, okay, so we give it a brand name, okay, be concise, okay. Example, my toilet broke on the second floor. How much, or get a get quote. So we just disable this and hit create. Now take a look at this. Again, we can embed this little widget right on our site just by copying the embed code right here, right? And what we just do is let's say, um, my toilet is clogged. How much do you guys charge to fix it? Get quote. And the AI will tell the user in an interactive experience how much it would charge them to fix, again, in this case, their, uh, their issue right here. So there you go. Thank you for turning out to Kowalski's Plumbing or whatever. The price is 150, right? And you can change this around. You can change how it writes stuff. You can change the tone. You can say, uh, write, it, write it in a funny tone, professional, whatever, right? You can, you can play around with this. You can, it's basically infinite, infinite things you can do. Be extra concise. Give them a pricing range as well as a time to fix, okay? Save changes. And now, of course, let's also enable the collect emails. And let's say, get in touch or have us call you, for example. So right now, if I hit save changes right here, again, I can embed this in my site. So if I say, uh, my toilet, or let's just do the same thing, right? Uh, my toilet is clogged, how much, okay, get code. Get code, excuse me. Now I change the prompt a bit, right? There you go. So it gave us a range, range, excuse me, 150 to $300, one to two hours. Now, this is an interactive experience. I can almost assure you no other local business is providing to their users. Now, don't just stay stuck with this idea, with the calculator. You can do anything you want with this. You can do, um, for example, if you're a personal trainer, meal plans. If you're, uh, if you're uh, renting out cars, you can do, um, or you have like a, a, a car stand, a car dealership, excuse me. You can do car financing calculators. You can do, for example, house mortgage calculators. You can do a bunch of stuff, not just calculators, but actually valuable stuff. Travel plans, infinite things you can do here. And as you can see here, then they were prompted with a call to action saying, have us call you. And if you put their email here or their phone number, they click sign up, right? And these leads are added here to your lead form, which then you can reach out to them, right? Again, I just gave you an example for plumbers, but this works for anything, lawyers, for legal advice, 
uh, I don't know, uh, plastic surgeons. Again, I'm just going over the same examples over and over again, but hopefully you get my point. And so these lead magnets are great in the sense that you can create this interactive experience with your users, which nobody's doing and goes a long way. So these are my three top tips to use AI for local SEO. Again, check all these courses that will be linked down below in the description because they provide you a bit more info and all the nuance import that's important to succeeding in the SEO, specifically the local SEO space. Because SEO isn't just about this stuff, right? There's a lot of lot of nuance to it. Hopefully with these tips, plus all the info that you know that's sitting on these courses, you'll uh, you'll be able to succeed. Now, if you want a bit more help from me, you can also click the very first link in the description, which leads you to the Academy, trygelons.com forward slash Academy, which is our flagship program that goes over all the stuff that I went over here, plus some more strategies that people like this guy right here are implementing to get a ton of results. This is actually for an international site, a Spanish site, which the guy took from, 10, from zero to 10K a month. Now it's 15K a month in just three months. And I put this here first to show you that a lot of people do SEO, but they just focus on the English speaking markets. And the international markets like, are a huge opportunity, not just for international countries, right? But for example, inside, inside of the US, if you're a local business inside of the US, right? There's a lot of Spanish speakers in the US, which a lot of them search for plumbers or dentists or whatever, but they search it in Spanish. So what if you could create pages targeting these markets, targeting international markets inside of English speaking countries? Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, whatever, right? Super valuable there. Uh, E-commerce stores, uh, actual agency owners using the, the strategy and the software, local businesses. These guys went from zero to 10K in a couple of, I think, weeks. 2X traffic in 90 days. Zero to 6K in traffic uh, in a couple of days. 3K to 10K in 90 days. This guy went from 400 traffic to 1600 just by building 29 backlinks. So we teach you link building as well. Ranking in 10 minutes. We, there's a bunch of stuff. Personal brands, eight-figure companies, more, more. There's a bunch more results. And you also get access to... 12 months to the journalist AI software. So the exact software you just saw me use to do all those pages does a bunch more stuff, right? Not just what you saw. Uh, you get access to it for 12 months. Also, again, the community, a community, seven exclusive SEO courses, plus a plugin. Again, you can scroll down through this, through this page, you get a bunch of stuff. And also, of course, uh, one on access to me, you get a consulting call with me, group calls and a bunch more stuff. And of course, there's a 100% money back guarantee. So if you come in, test it out, use the stuff, you don't see any results, you'll say, hey, listen, Vasco, I tried, I didn't see any results, I'll just give you your money back. Okay, that's basically it. And so that's the first thing, and if you wanna give it a go, if you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't want to join the Academy, which gives you 12 months access to the software, plus all the courses, community and all that stuff, if you just wanna test out the software, excuse me, if you just wanna test out the software, uh, just go to tragedialist.com, and if you want a coupon code, just go here and ask the guys, and say, hey listen, I came from um, this video right here, I want a coupon code, and the guys will hook you up with the coupon code. That's it, that's the video, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.